Currently, uh, I'm working on a project where I have to control a, a conveyor uh, from uh, an S7-1200. Basically, uh, there's a VFD uh, controlling the conveyor, and then the S7-1200 is going to communicate with the VFD um, over Modbus. And there's just some basic um, kind of proximity I.O. as well um, involved in the project. So um, often you'll have Modbus done through uh, basically an Ethernet to RS-485 converter. Um, you know, it can work at certain times, um, you know, these, these converters, but when you're putting them out in the field, it depends, you know, on, on what kind of device you're, you're picking. So generally it's better to f uh, get kind of a, a, a respectable um, item to use. This is an S7-1200 and it's kind of like a, a lower class of, of S7 uh, PLC. You'll find it a lot in, in kind of standalone machines and so on. And there's a slot here which allows for um, uh, basically uh, an expansion where you can put in RS-232 uh, serial modules and then also an RS-45. So I'm going to just um, use the time while I'm here um, to just open open it up and uh, basically fit things together and then just go through TIA and show um, how, the, how the hardware is configured. The first step is to open up the hardware. So uh, basically what I have here is an S7-1200. Uh, and if I just figure out how to open it again, there we go. Now, so basically this guy is an S7, uh, it's a it's a 121C. So this is kind of like a very basic uh, PLC. In the project that I'm doing, there's literally only there's three there's three inputs and one output. But then the the clever bit that's needed is the is the Modbus uh, guide that will go right here. So effectively, if I can see here, you can see that there's basically zero to five, so that's six inputs, and then zero to three, it's only four inputs. It's a really kind of basic module here, and it's a nice um, uh, PLC because it doesn't cost uh, a tremendous amount, but it has the the Ethernet. Um, the Ethernet connection there as well for getting any kind of variables uh, that will come in. So the first thing that I need to do uh, after I have the uh, this this PLC open here is I need to open up and uh, take out my my module, right? So there's modules that can fit as cards onto the side here, but then there's modules that also fit inside the PLCs. So you can see this guy. It says if it doesn't stop blurring, it's uh, RS-485, right? So RS-485 there. So open this guy up and it's a module that has this type of appearance here and as you can see it looks like this guy so that can actually slot in there so i'm just going to put this guy just to the side here and we're just going to pop open the flaps so we'll just take it very carefully i don't want to break them very good and i have to open up the other one as well very carefully again i don't want to break them so basically this guy has to come out here so effectively he'll just he'll pop out there we go. Very good. Now, so you can basically see then this guy is, we no longer need it. It's just a blank, just for the appearance sake. We have these connectors, these connector pins here that have to fit into these uh, slots here. So it has to be put in very, very carefully. So I'm just going to give that a go now and hopefully not break anything. I hope. Don't want to press too hard. You don't want to bend any pins. So. It's a very, it's a very delicate thing to do. You can kind of see it going in there, from from. Oh, if I were to show it, yeah, there's the pins going in. Okay, so let's press it in. Oh, gone in. Too late now. Finning's broken. So, effectively, uh, we have our we have our guy that's literally been placed in. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my panels back on, just while I'm here. And there we go. Perfect. So the panels are back in place. So we're after fitting our module in place. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up, I'm going to connect this guy up to a power supply. And then I'm going to open up the, um, I'm going to open up a, a, a sample program in TIA to show how to check that the, the module is, is working correctly.